Beverly Hills 90210 was probably the biggest youth sensation back in the 90s. It was a, a teen drama, or a soap opera. The first season of the show garnered poor reviews, but successive seasons earned raves from critics. The actor became sort of a style icons of the then young generation, but how are they after 30 years? What are they doing? Hello there, this is your favorite entertainment channel on YouTube. Today, I'm going to talk about another nostalgic show of America, the Beverly Hills 90-2010, and about its cast, the then and then the now. The show first launched in October of 1990, and since then, it's continued for a whole 10 long seasons with 293 episodes. The show used to get aired on the American Fox TV network. The number 90210 in the show's title is a reference to the zip code of the city, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills 90210 tells a story of ups and downs in the life and love of a bunch of youngsters who were living in the star-studded city Beverly Hills. It's not only about the bubbly rom-coms or the friendships, it also explored serious themes like suicide, drug addiction, abuse and rape, STDs, early pregnancies, the list goes on. The show narrated a blend of high school comedy, which was kind of a popular genre back then in the 90s, and then several serious issues in life. That was the USP of the show, and also the reason due to which viewers could be related to its characters. But, like I said earlier, let's check out how that cast is doing after 30 years. The name of the character Jason Priestley played was Brandon Walsh. His role was portrayed as a true friend to the other characters. He was ambitious, a conformist, the, the moral center of the show. After the show was over, he appeared in numerous shows like How I Met Your Mother, The Outer Limit, or Without a Trace, etc. But most of his works in the shows were either cameo or supporting roles, and before 2013, you could barely see him playing a lead character. In 2013, though, in the comedy series Call Me Fitz, he got the role of a protagonist who is a car salesman and a morally bankrupt person as well. Apart from that, he appeared in a lot of movies and is currently working in Private Eyes, which is a Canadian-style drama, comedy drama, sorry. In this show, he's playing the role of a private investigator. So do you remember Brenda Walsh, the sister of Brandon Walsh? Of course you do. The role was played by Shannon Doherty. Right at the beginning of the series, we see both the brother and the sister are moving from Minnesota to California. But Brenda left after the fourth season of the show and she set out for Europe. But in reality, Shannon Doherty was fired from the show due to her tantrums and her frequent misbehaviors with the co-stars. After leaving the show Beverly Hills 90210, Doherty appeared in another show named Charmed, which was produced by the same exact producer of Beverly Hills, interestingly enough. The show Beverly Hills 90210 was rebooted in 2019, and Doherty reprised her role as Brenda Walsh. She also appeared on a single episode of the popular series Riverdale. Not sure if you've heard of it. The character Jenny Garth portrayed in Beverly Hills 90210 was Kelly Taylor. Not a super pivotal character in the show at the initial stage, but then later on, it, she became one of the main characters with some shaded features. In the show, the character faced a lot of tragic accidents like miscarriage or sexual harassment. Her character arc was shaped by all these things accordingly. Later on, Jenny Garth appeared in multiple comedy shows like What I Like About You or spin-off series like American Dad or Melrose Place. In the Beverly Hills 90210, which is again a series reboot, she appears in the reprising role of her original character. In the series, the name of Ian Zierling's character was Steve Sanders, who initially got introduced as a rich and spoiled kid, but over the course of the show, he got rid of that persona. By the end of the show, he had his newspaper that he successfully ran by himself. Do you happen to remember the name of it? It was The Beverly Beat. Afterwards, he appeared in numerous shows as a guest performer. He starred in the Sharknado movie series, and he's also appeared in some series like The Worst Cooks in America. Apart from reprising his role in Beverly Hills 90210, recently he performed in a couple of Netflix shows such as Malibu Rescue or The Order, etc. You know. Gabrielle Carteris played the role of Andrea Zuckerman, who used to be an introvert and a nerdy girl in the show, but eventually she ended up becoming pregnant and then shifted to Connecticut with her newborn daughter and her husband by the end of the series. 
and after the show got over, she performed as a voice artist in various video games and then, and then appeared in several shows like My Alibi or NYPD Blue. Moreover, she joined SAG-AFTRA, yeah, S-A-G-A-F-T-R-A, which is the trade union for actors, and, you know, she remained an active member of this party for a long time. In 2012, she got elected as the vice president of this trade union, and then in 2016, she usurped the throne and finally became the president. Do you remember David Silver, the attention seeker wannabe popular boy of Beverly Hills 90210? This character was played by Brian Green, or Brian Austin Green, if you wanted to know his middle name. He was the most unpopular and coldest guy in the show at the beginning, but when he and Donna started dating, he gained popularity. They ended up in the show very happily married. In real life, too, he was happily married for 10 whole years with none other than a Megan Fox. But the couple separated last year. Green appeared in several series like Desperate Housewives, Smallville, Anger Management, and etc. Speaking of Donna, though, the character played by Tori Spelling, who is the daughter of none other than the producer of Beverly Hills 90210, Aaron Sterling, she initially started as a struggling student in high school, but then over time, she matured and became a successful business owner. Later on, she made an appearance in a couple of movies, including Scary Movie 2 and, and then the series Smallville. She also attended a lot of reality shows alongside her husband, Dean McDermott, who was also an actor. One such show is Tori and Dean, Home Sweet Hollywood. Beside all these, Tori Spelling is also recognized as an author who has published six whole books to date. Last book she wrote was Spelling It Like It Is in 2013. Luke Perry was cast to play the role of Dylan McKay, who can be considered the most handsome and yet oddly the loneliest character in the show. Being handsome, he's used to being seen with plenty of girls in the show pretty often. Afterward, he starred in What I Like About You and with some of his co-stars from Beverly Hills 90210. He also appeared in the show Jeremiah, a Showtime series, and he got the lead role in the series Riverdale. The most notable appearance he made was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a western dark comedy by Quentin Tarantino. In this movie, Perry had a relatively small role as a real-life western TV star. Sadly, in 2019, Perry died prematurely. Before Beverly Hills 90210, Tiffany was already quite famous for playing the iconic character Kelly Kapowski. In the then-popular sitcom Saved by the Bell, Kelly Kapowski was no less than a teen idol in America. Back then, on the other hand, in Beverly Hills 90210, got Tiffany out of that Kelly image and put her in a bad girl persona. Yeah, she was the face of Valerie Malone in the show, a badass character with a troubled past. Like Dylan, Valerie also got involved with many men in the series. After that, she appeared in many shows like Pandemic, The Stranger Beside Me, Fast Lanes, and, and etc. She used to star as the female lead in the popular show White Collar. Tiffany's a famous cook, and that's why she took part in various cooking shows, you know, like The Food Network or Hell's Kitchen. Kathleen Robertson portrayed the role of Claire Arnold, the rich, spoiled girl turned brilliant student by the end of the series. At first, she had an infatuation with Brandon, but then with Steve, she found her true love. She also appeared in several films like Scary Movie 2 or Nowhere, directed by Greg Aki, and a lot of TV movies. Once upon a time, Robertson and Aki used to date each other. Also, she acted in shows like CSI Medium. Currently, she's working in a drama series, Northern Rescue. Hilary Swank is probably the best-known face to date, and currently the only A-lister from the cast of Beverly Hills 90210. Her character, Carly Reynold, was a single mother who used to date Steve Sanders throughout a season in the show. Unfortunately, Swank was also fired from the show for some unknown reason. She later starred in multiple hit films like Logan Lucky or P.S. I Love You, and critically acclaimed films like Clint Eastwood's Million Dollar Baby, or Boys Don't Cry, or 2009 released biopic Amelia. Her portrayal in the movie Boys Don't Cry earned her both the Oscar and the Golden Globe Award. Also for Million Dollar Bebe, Swank won yet another Oscar. Currently, she's working on the upcoming horror movie The Hunt. 
Vincent Young's character Noah Hunter was also a rich boy in the show. He became a depressive and an alcoholic after an unsuccessful fling with Donna, followed by a mishap in his life. After the show, Young appeared in JAG and NCIS, but did not appear in many other shows. He took part in several movies like Three Days Rising and Escape 2, Planned to Hades. Lindsay Price played the role of Janet Sosna. She was the editor of The Beverly Beat, the newspaper run by Steve Sanders. Initially, she was not amongst the central character, but eventually she did become one. Afterwards, she got into a romantic relationship with Steve, followed by their marriage and a child. After the show, she appeared in a lot of series like Pepper Dennis and Lipstick Jungle. Currently, she's working on the comedy show Splitting Up Together. Time flies, people change, situations change, but what stays is their work. Beverly Hills 90210 is still a popular classic show. It's, it's like a sip of nostalgia. Let me know in the comments section how much you love the show, and I will be waiting for them comments. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. We will meet you guys in the next video, but until then, happy watching!